Every time it rains, it rains. I thought musicians were necessary businesses. Anyway, I'm here for the first of two performances today in beautiful Gladstone, Oregon. And uh, this happens to be a level two community, and so uh, I'm able to come inside, so there'll be less chance of a mosquito coming around where I'm singing today. But I'm gonna record some of the music today and post it on YouTube, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. All right. Oh, I must have forgot one of my pills this morning. trumpet now for 52 years August 14th it was 52 years since my dad put one of these in my hand but I have only been singing since about 1982 so I tell people I'm a trumpet player that sings a little bit but so I'm gonna play a couple of tunes that feature both singing and the trumpet. Here's a song that was introduced on records by the great Louis Armstrong about 1930. And it was a big hit recording for Judy Garland. And I know you know this song. Can't give you anything 
that's the only thing that I've plenty of. Baby, dream a while, scheme a while, you're sure to find happiness. And I guess all the things that I know you pine for. Gee, I'd like to see you looking swell. in the morning and went down to Clackamas Town Center and asked a hundred people what a Woolworth is, about 11 of them might know. But everybody knows where Walmart's at. That's right. So I got to update it. I went there this morning. Can you believe they got the fingernail clippers under lock and key now? Unbelievable. Well, I mentioned earlier my dad tried to teach us all how to sing four-part harmony. And, uh, I don't know whether we all got the hang of it, but I remember this song is one that he tried to teach us. And it was a big hit recording for Doris Day and Les Brown back in 1945. And I know you remember this song. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
singing that song a long time. Um, well, I'm going to play the trumpet a little bit more for you. Here's a song that was recorded by the great Louis Armstrong in 1931. And uh, it became one of his signature tunes for the rest of his career. And then about uh, 1944, it became a hit recording for Tommy Dorsey and the Pied Pipers. And so I'm going to pay tribute to both of them on the sunny side of the street. I'm going to turn 67, and there's several things at 67 I shouldn't do anymore. That last note is one of them. Anyway, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Well, here's another song, speaking of trumpet players. Here's a song that Columbia Records didn't want Harry James to record. He went to Columbia Records and wanted to record this song and they said, nah, Al Jolson already did it, Judy Garland already did it, nobody wants to hear a trumpet version. So he was persistent and uh, they let him record it. And uh, the first time I ever saw my wife sing, she was singing with Harry James, there was about three feet between the two of them and they did a medley of all of Harry's hits and she got to sing this in the medley with Harry James and so I'd like to do a little version of You Made Me Love You. Oh, 
Kiss me. 